go ready to get started three seconds in show match number three hope it's another inter entertaining one for you we're going to be getting atriox going up against decimus now we saw shack use decimus versus be safe can major put an end to his tyranny find out next on selium's channel do, do, do. Choppa. A chopper opener from RTS Major. Chopper opener from Shaq. But please have rally points on their own power. Things could easily change though. This is for you, Max. Alright, looks like Shaq is going to be pushing up with his chopper. We might see a Vortex go down again. Major's going to see him fly by, immediately reacts to what his opponent's doing. They're both going to go for a mini base steal here. Shaq immediately sending his grunner to try and deny that as much as possible. Okay, looks... It looks like... Mage is actually going to just go for the power here. Shaq is going to be able to steal one. Probably going to be able to steal two. He might be able to get five mini bases to one here. Yeah, so Shaq is about to have five mini bases to one. No generator though. To be able to afford that, he opened triple harvester. There goes the generator now. Probably overcommitted a little bit there. The raid camp's coming up for RTS Major. We do have a raid camp going on the aggressive from WH Shaq though on this bat mini base. If you are banished and you want to get aggressive, steal a mini base and put a raid camp on it, this is the best mini to do so. The reason being, the units have to go all the way around up these ramps to be able to kill it, where you can just jump off the ledge onto their generators and do a lot more damage. Alright, that power extractor is now just being upgraded with a second raid camp as well, going down on the main base for WS Shack. So it looks like he might be going for a different playstyle he played against B Safe. Probably looks like an all in push here. <clears throat> We've got a late war council coming up. The jump pack brooks are going to be jumping up top there to try and take down this mini base. So he did scout the raid camp early, which allows him to jump up there and go kill it rather than go to the right hand side one here. Suicide Grunt first to come out. Gonna be hitting the jump back brute, not doing too much damage to it. Yeah, more Suicide Grunt's just gonna try and basically stop this base from being killed, but it's gonna die anyway. It did manage to recycle the red cap just in time there. So he's losing one mini base actually swapped into a second generator a bit of a weird play from what Shaq is doing now he might just go into grunts he does have a lot of grunts typical from decimus players major already working on his power node though while also clearing out the mini bases a bit of good micro from him with that chosen coming out as well There goes the Vortex on four of those grunts. Now that's probably a mistake from him. You kind of want to save that for the Chosen, but he's going to walk into mines. Oh, he just sees them. He's going to back off Shaq, and all those mini bases do get cleared on major side of the map. Chosen comes out. He has enough for the upgrade. Going to be getting that as well, while also securing two power nerds for himself. <clears throat> so 
so we are now seeing what sh the same strategy that Shaq did in the last series. A beam coming down on the Chosen. The Chosen is unupgraded. The wire, the man's going down. The Chosen might die. Oh my god. Is he going to die? He does die. What an absolute beautiful pick by Shaq there. Five seconds out for the Plasma Mines. And the Chosen is just a glass cannon before that. And Major is going to resign. Oh my god. One beam kills his Chosen and it just ends the game. W.S. Shaq going to be taking game number one. <laughs> That's hilarious, Renzi. <laughs> All right, going into game number two. <laughs> Vorda's mirror again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What are we witnessing? All right, we we saw Shaq and Bezef have a Vorda's mirror earlier. <laughs> now we're seeing the two Frenchies have a Vorda's mirror as well. Shaq did come out on top. So hopefully Major took some pointers from that game uh, and he's going to be able to do something different here to win this game. <clears throat> So we are getting double grunt opener from WS Shaq and the exact mirror coming out from Artius Major here. Triple Harvester for Major and the exact same from Shaq. Looks like they might have been practicing builds together. Maybe in uh, some of those com underground customs the French players like to do. They even run in their own underground tournaments these days. Major just trying to gun down some of these grunts here with but he looked away, didn't manage to get that one. And he's stealing the power from Shaq as well. Obviously grunt lives matter in a Vardis mirror, guys. Every grunt counts. Shaq already secured too many bases. Major about to get his, and nobody wants to pick up those middle minis. Nobody wants to lose economy to their opponents. Power extracts are now upgraded for Shaq. Major already had his upgraded with a raid camp on as well. Late raid camp coming up for Shaq on this side mini here. And Major is going to be taking that central mini base. <coughs> Drop coming down for Shaq, uh, just on these two grunts here. Probably just to set it on cooldown so he has it as quickly as possible back. Where Major's going to have his for this next fight. The grand drop goes onto the grand. Realises he doesn't have that many base, but... Shaq going to be pushing up to the main base. He's just got shrapnel mines. Major does not have it yet. The mines are going to be going down on this Gren here. 
I should have waited to get to the main base, but the less units means that the more harassment you can do on the main base. And Chak doing a similar a similar push to what we saw before. Pretty even in terms of population here. The only difference is all of Major's armies here and Shax is just kind of like straggling in. He's going to be forcing Major to split his army now to chase down a couple of units. But this is a pretty good defense for Major. I don't know why Shaq hasn't managed to do as much damage as he did before. And he did manage to secure the middle mini base in the end. That's been built right now. Major hasn't built on this one yet. Probably wants a raid camp on there as well, to be honest. <coughs> Looks like Shaq's going to be focusing all of his attention on this central mini base. That should establish the middle for him. Middle control with the other mini base. Then he can put a raid camp on there and probably swap this one out for a supply pad. Another grand drop coming down from Shaq, as we saw earlier in the game. He dropped his first, which means he's going to have it back first. And there's a lot of grunts here from Shaq. He's going to easily be able to take down this mini base. He's getting a lot of resources. Major's all over the place at the moment. He's all split. He's got all these units sat over here while he's trying to do other stuff on the map. Yeah, Shaq doing a really good job here. He is a mouse and keyboard as well. Major does play on controller. Didn't finish off the mini base though. Choosing to actually go for the units now. Grand drop there on the kind of on the choke point to make the units go through the goo. Get damage there. Shaq loves this Apex Tech 1 play. He's going to be swapping to the Apex on this mini base here. That Grand's going to be picking up the goo now to get that buff. As a second grenade here as well, managed to keep both of those alive, and they do a lot of damage to grunts. But no one's really winning these engagements at this moment in time. There's a lot of red bar units from both of them. There's goo everywhere. Mine's going down on these Gren boys. These gooey boys going to be exploding and spreading in their juices everywhere. And look how weak Shaq's army's just disappeared with those grunt mines from Major. Some good connections there. Shacked down to 56 population, most of it building to be honest. But he's just chasing down this army. If Major turned around and fought this, he'd be doing so much better in this game. He's losing a lot of units just by running away here. Oh, look, look how many red bar units there is. We do have a healer now from Shaq. Imagine if these could just run to the healing spire, that would be great for him. I don't think he has time to do that though. Another grand drop coming down on the middle mini base here. There is a turret on Shaq's main base here. No second generator yet from LGP Major. Doesn't look like there is one from Shaq either. So the buff still playing Tech 1. Basically, with Voiders, you can just get Tech 1 off harassing your opponent's economy rather than actually going into the second gen, which allows you to get more units out. So it plays a little bit differently to other leaders. Another grand drop ready for Major. He can drop it here. Do have a jump up route now harassing this generator, but now WS Shaq coming out on top. Is that an Invig coming down as well? Someone just popped Invig. And I don't see it. Can't have been Shaq. I think that I believe that Shaq's goo, so. I guess he kinda wanted to heal his gen if it was him. Don't know, but whoever did that was a bit of a waste. So Shaq is kind of actually establishing himself in the game now. He has a pretty decent army. 65 population. He split off the jump up routes to go to the main base. There's a second turret coming up. There is a second generator as well, and he's getting tech 2. Shaq is not getting tech 2, but he is getting that second turret up. Jump up routes now crossing to the mini bases. But the players' thumbs are hurting now and the wrists as well because they're just fighting all over the place. 
There's brutes everywhere, units everywhere. Shaq can now get tech two. Major already in tech two. These grain drops back as well. It'd be nice on the middle of this army. It'll do a lot of damage there. M managed to take down the army in the middle. Looks like he went goo vortex and he's going to be spreading that on these grunts. Grain drop comes down from Shaq and the mines coming down from both players here. A lot of Shaq's units fall again. That's just how weak grunts are. It looks like you have a lot of population, but then boom, a couple of mines and they've all gone. Mini base does fall on the left here by all of these jump pack brutes. We do have a Marauder Engineer coming down for Shaq. Looks like he opted into that leader power. Obviously both taking Invig on third point, or I at least hope they both took Invig on third point. And now we're seeing the fall points come in. The Goo Vortex for Major. The Marauders. Hmm. Interesting. Great play by Shaq here. Jumps off the ledge on to the main base. Should, he shouldn't go for the gen. He should have just took down that upgraded ha um, harvester. For anybody who doesn't know, you still get power from upgraded harvesters. Invic going down. I actually can't tell who it is. It's like that was Shaq's Invic going down there. So he focused the turret. He could have had that harvester. A lot of goo here. Almost killing all of these grunts. A bit of a small mistake there. He could have got a lot more out of that, but he wasted an Invig as well. He's going to be getting the Expo up. He's going to be going into double foundry. Major only has a single foundry at this moment in time. And another battle going down on the middle, bay, middle mini base here. Shaq managing to take that from his opponent. Finally, a second generator is going to be coming up for Shaq. Shield generator coming up for Major. That is a good idea. I would have preferred that over the expo from Shaq, to be honest. Stop that harassment on your main base. So things seem to have calmed down a little bit. That shield gen comes up on Major's main base. No expo for him, but he's almost got enough to go into tech three. And at that point, you just kind of go into rifts. Whoever gets rifts first generally wins banish mirrors. Nobody opting for the hero yet. There we go. Tech three has been researched for Major. Obviously, he didn't opt for the expo, so. Still behind on units as well. Big engagement's coming down. Engineers, why but it's being used. We have some banshees here, they're not gonna be no good against grunts. Both players losing a lot of units. Nobody using Invig yet though. There goes Invig for somebody, I can't tell because there's so much healing going on. Looks like Shaq's Invig. There goes the Goo Vortex onto his own units. Remember, one Vortex's Goo does replace the other person. So if you're pl plopping your Goo on top of the other person, uh, you are getting the advantage there. But Major has just been rinsed in this engagement. He's been pushed away. He's down to 30 population. Shaq chasing him down with 75. And LGP Major is going to resign. Shaq takes game number two. Shaq is an absolute monster today. That is five games, one out of five in these series he's played.
<laughs> Waiting for the players now. Going to be going into game number three. Shaq finds himself 2-0 up. And the show match between the two French players. Arguably the two best French players in Halo Wars 2 at the moment. And you heard Shaq say it earlier. He said, aside from Rock Generation, there is no good NA players out there. <laughs> Bit of a bold statement, but he beat BC 3-0. He's beating Major 2-0 now. And we're going to be getting a Decimus mirror. Uh, we didn't agree to no repeats, obviously, early on, but... Chat's going to be picking Decimus again. So I guess we'll let it slide. These players probably know each other too well. Oh, victory. Maybe he has realized that he's already picked Decimus. Major resigned. What up, Hot House? Thanks for the bits, my friend. As always, supporting the stream. Love you, bro. Alright, so that's a bit cheeky from Shaq, isn't it? He repicked a leader and then chose a different leader to try and counter his opponent. Almost expecting Major to swap, actually, but. Hasn't happened, so we'll see if he resigns or if they're gonna they want to play this out. Well, I guess that's fine. These guys probably just want to play this out. We got a generator first coming out of RTS Major. And generator second like we saw last time from Shaq when he played Forge. What's up, Alice? How you doing? Major gonna be taking the two side powers here. With his grunts. Got a second generator coming out from Shaq. We saw that last time as well. He's not playing against Cutter this time though, so I wonder what his strategy is going to be against Decimus. He plays Decimus a lot himself, so obviously he knows his strengths, his weaknesses and how good he actually is. Stars is the number one French, then I guess we're just casting the wrong show match, but Stars dodged Shaq, so he didn't want to play him. 
Mage has stepped up to the plate instead. Second generator being upgraded by Major now. Shaq already has his upgraded and he's going for that barracks player. Barracks is on the back though, so it's a long way to run for those units and he's upgraded all of his pads as well. So his economy is going to be absolutely be booming. First power node now being picked up by WS Shack. Don't know why I keep saying his full name, but I just do. Grenade throw being researched. That's an expert being picked up by Mage. He's only got 36 population. One suicide grunt out here. His raid camp's at the back as well. Loves this Forge Infantry play Shaq does. He's got the uh, Grenade Fur along with the Sniper here as well. He's pushing up. There's going to be one Suicide Grunt only. Shrapnel Mine's now being researched on the Grunts. Vortex coming down in the middle of this club. That is a great Vortex onto those snipers. Too bad the suicide currents are auto running in. One eventually does, but Shaq losing a lot there. Luckily, it's not his whole force, but the snipers are important to him. You really need to kite with the snipers, and he's about to lose those. Grenades are going down, the Marines are split, but he can't really fight this. Su nice suicide grunt. Almost a nice suicide grunt. Manages to split at the last second. Still going to be chasing him down though. More snipers coming into the mix here. And that expo is up and running. Could get a second raid camp on there to help him with this. Just not splitting very well at the moment. He's losing a lot of units to the suicide grunts. The snipers are get as well at the front. Oh, the cypher comes down with the scatter bomb on all of these grunts. Another sniper. He really needs to just kite with those snipers. Siphon putting in a lot of work. Shaq is at 72 population. Major down to 34 now. Pushing up now. The beam going to be coming down on the army. Focusing the sniper first. Sniper runs into the units. Gets finished off. Shaq lost about 20 population. So that they're all still regrouping. Most of it's still building. It's like he is going tech 2 now. Major just hit tech 2. Hasn't built on his expo at all. This expo has been built for a long time. Really hurting himself and his economy by not building on that. Shaq does hit tech 2 as he pushes up onto this expert. Also picking up his own base as well. Finally gets a supply pad on this base. If he had a raid camp on this earlier, he could have rangers coming out right in front of the base right now. Even if he got one on the main base, would be better than this one all the way at the back. Suicide could just kind of sat there trying to focus the snipers down. Do you know what would have been absolutely amazing from Shaq if he put those snipers up here on the ledge? That have been so safe pushing this base. The only thing that could have got him is a beam, but he doesn't really have vision, so the beam would start here. He'd see it early and he'd be able to run away. Big brain plays. Just kind of got his snipers at the front. He's lost so many snipers. He's not building on his expo now as well. He does have a Nightingale on the way. We got Foundry coming up for LGP Major. More grenades going down, and we just got Combat Tech as well for Shaq. Rangers are finally coming in after running all the way from the back. Two 
two power nerds to zero there for Shaq. Nightingale and a lot of snipers in this army composition versus these rangers, so he should have the range advantage. But again, not splitting up those snipers. We stuck together. The vortex going down on the gales now, but half the army gets smoked. Snipers then get focused via the vortex. All the rangers manage to split to the back, but now the combat tech marines are coming in. There's Gabon right on top of them. He's going to be able to walk out with their lives, but losing quite a few there. Don't know why he has the uh, Hunter. There is no vehicles here. Shaq gets his base upgraded and still on the aggressive. Base almost down to half health. Gets upgraded. He has the Apex up, but look how much healing. What the hell? <laughs> the Combat Tech Marines are healing the Nightingales, and the Nightingales are healing the Marines. That's what you call teamwork, people. Based off to half health. Two hunters here now for no reason. Waste of resources. Just build rangers, dude. Has the NG at the back. He's kind of sat in the smoke, though, so he's wasting his army here. We have a Kodiak drop in the middle as well to help this army. Looks like Shaq is about to sweep Major 3-0 by the look of this game. Got good economy, 76 population. Focusing the Hunters now, the beam going down onto the Kodiak. Doesn't finish it off. He's gonna leave it to the Hunter to finish off. Yeah, good play there. Hunter should be able to finish that off nicely. He needs to heal that base. The Engie Shield comes in clutch here. The Engie's coming to the base, trying to save it. They get picked off though. This base is gonna fall. LGP Major in a lot of trouble. Shaq now gonna be backing off from all of these Rangers. He needs to chase him down. He's a bit slow off the mark there. The Marines are getting away. <clears throat> Smoke going down to stop some of the damage, but he's going to be running back to his base. Turret's coming up on the base, and the Armory finally coming up to get that Forge Hog out. Major now. Full population. No base damage, but he's going to be pushing up and killing this army. Look at this. He's just not losing anything. He has a complete counter ball to counter what Shaq has here. Just needs a couple of Reavers in the mix from the foundry he's got up. Uh, maybe a Locust or two as base damage. Get into tech free. Get your Rifts. Get your heroes out. And despite losing the Expo, he's actually on the aggressive here. Has a Vortex. There's no turrets on this base. He could Vortex the turret. He doesn't want to be shooting the pads. You need to kill the army. Listen, you can shoot the pads all day if the army isn't there. There comes the vortex onto the army. What a absolutely superb vortex there as the army comes in. And going to start focusing down these units. He just needs a couple of Reavers. We have Hornets now in the mix for Shaq. So a good swap from him. One Reaver coming in with a Locust, just like I said. But we do have an anti-infantry turret and two turrets on this base. Oh, he's going to walk straight to the scat bomb. But then he's going to walk straight out of it. Actually not lagging the French players in place. Gives them a huge advantage. Heal going down now. Shaq manages to catch the turret in there. And his army. Shaq still at 52 population. Major at 76. He's picking up his expo as well. He's retaking the power nerds in the background. He's stripping the turrets on the expo. And doing a good job at taking down this army. Boundless Cypher doing so much work for him right now. Just needs that Desi drop. Doesn't have the population for it. He just can't lose units at the moment. Another Kodiak drop goes down at the back on the main base. One of them's planted down. The second one has not. Going to be splitting the units. That's the breathing space that Major needed to get online. He's going to be getting reinforcements just so he can get the Decimus drop in. Not going to be going for the Warlord. 
Pushing up to the main base now with the Hunters to take down the Kodiak. I don't know where the sec- no, the second Kodiak is on the front line. Firing away on the front line. Dude, between these two guys, the battles just feel like they're going on forever. Hunter's now coming in, gonna clean up that Kodiak. Some weak locusts coming in. Hornets are actually doing a great job. Smoke again going down on the army. Mage is pretty broke, but he's upgrading his expo now. Shaq obviously had this expo for a long time. He just cannot kill this army at this moment. A lot of smoke going down. Trying to block the army's shots. Mage is actually sat in that, but Shaq is not focusing it. Two locusts now. Sitting at the back, he needs to deal with those. Just split your hornets round, pick them off. They are really weak. A lot of grunts to deal with these hornets there. Doesn't need the reavers when you've got desi grunts. Base dropping really fast. The hornets are focusing the grunts. You need to kill those locusts. So it's doing the main source of damage. Gonna be smoking the hunters. A bit unnecessarily. Forge Hog finally comes out. Here we go. Nice anvil round instantly as he comes out the front door. We got Vortex Lightning. That Forge Hog's dead. He's stuck. He's blocked. His body blocked. He can't get out. A Reaver stomps on his face and he goes down. This base is going to fall. LGP Major manages to come back and to bring back a game in this series. Going to take it to 2-1. That was an absolute crazy end-to-end -end game, non-stop from the get-go between Major and Shaq. Shaq managing to put a lot of aggression on early on to take down that expo, but then immediately gets counter-pushed back to his base, and due to the no base damage, it just went on and on and on forever. Alright boys, Shaq said Yap was his best leader, he's going to be pulling out Yap Yap here, going up against Jerome. Fairly unwinnable matchup in my opinion, but... Anything can happen in Hill Wars 2. UNSC just have such a tough time on Mirage. Fodder's going to allow him to pick up more mini bases. He can just go into choppers and basically bully everything. Marine's going to be pushing up to the central power here. There is going to be a mango down there. He is watching, so he should be able to avoid being blown into the oblivion from that. 
double mini base does get taken by Shaq there. Alright, Major has two supply pads built. There goes the generator, picks up one mini base. Shaq is going to have the mini base advantage, as you would expect with Yep Yep. Barracks coming up for Major on this left side mini base. Just fodder from Shaq at this moment in time. Wouldn't really expect to see a raid camp. If anything, it'd just be for heavy grunts to help take the power nerds, but he doesn't necessarily need them. Could have gone into a second gen pretty early on, but Major's going to need that leader. He's not building an armory at the moment. He's left a slot open, but no armory. It's like he's just getting some flamers out initially to help deal with the fodder, the early fodder. But nothing. Oh my god. This is going to be really rough for Major without that leader and only a barracks. Choppers are already starting to flow out. Completely counter those flamers. Unless he goes marines with grenades, but he needs to pull off some really good grenades. Major going to be taking his first power node. He's low on power at the moment. He is going grenade for us, so he's not opting for the hero. He wants to basically match Yap Yap's numbers, which is mainly fodder, just annoying. So if he can, if he can focus the choppers, get the choppers out of the way, he won't have too much of a hard time, but he's pushing too early, I believe. He's going to walk into some mines as he goes up, unless he sees them and splits a unit off into them. we got three choppers here. He's gonna walk into the mats. Oh, this is gonna be nasty! Oh my god! Oh my god, Major. There's too many choppers here. You didn't use the grenades. You didn't see the mine. You're about to walk into. Oh, he sees them. Drop some mine at the back there, but Shaq has fodder. He can literally just split those off. Three units into the mine. This is a lot of choppers as well already. Four minutes in, he's got eight choppers. Double gen for Major already, really needs more Marines. Grenades do manage to land there, but Shaq doing a good job at just driving around and doing a lot of damage to these units. Finally, Jerome is on his way. Ten, ten seconds out, he won't have the Mantis drop. But uh, really, you don't need to push that early. If he would have just held back and got his leader out, defended the mini base, and then pushed with his leader. And even better, if he would have seen the mines, um, it would have been fine. You really can't afford any mistakes against a Yap Yap player. Got the two generators. He's got the power node. It's all going to help. More mines on the uh, ledge there. Up the ramp. Please. Please, no. Don't do it. I think he sees them. Yeah, he walked one marine in. Yeah, much better for Major. He knows it's happening now. Can't afford the Mantis upgrade. He's not getting it yet, but he desperately needs it because he's, he's engaging without it, which is a bad idea. The rams are going in. The grenades are going in. Looks like he might go salvo on this one. Wait, he did get the Mantis drop. What the hell? Well, the salvo going down. The salvo wanted to be more towards the Mantis, to be honest, because the rams were coming in. The Mantis managing to survive, but here comes the beam. 
You never see a Yab Yab player going beam. You normally see them going Shade Turret. Now, the reason you see them going Shade Turret is because Shade Turret boosts your leader power point experience, which gets you to the fourth point leader power a lot faster. So that's generally why you do that. But I guess Shaq felt he needed the desperation of the beam to do more damage than he needed to here. Maybe wanted to kill the Mantis, but didn't quite able to do it. Major managed to split out of it and it makes it just a waste. All he's got is fodder now. He's building the expo, which if it gets spotted, that's going to go down as well. Really not a fan of the uh, the turret uh, the beam player there. Made a hundred power away from getting tech two. He's about to scout this expo as well. Has an apex on it. He, I mean, Shaq's got tech two, but he's going double foundry. Uh, getting a shield generator up on there, but he's lost this expo. Base is gone, Major's about to get tech 2, he still has a Spartan alive, he gets that upgrade, he's got the army, the 39 population with the Spartan, he can clear out some more mini bases, he secured the middle, just a couple of choppers going out, Shaq looks like he's in trouble with his best leader here, I mean he has a shield, I mean, come on, he has a shield to hide under, but if that thing breaks, it's pretty difficult. Major doesn't know that yet. He hasn't scouted the main base. He's been on the defensive for uh, pretty much the whole game. Yeah, he's just going to back off. And there's only one Ranger here. Going to be backing off, pushing the mini bases. Probably should take the power node as well. Build on the middle. Major seems to not be looking in all of the places on the map. We saw in the last game as well. He built that expo. He didn't build all the pads on it. Um, and he's doing the same with the mini base here. Shaq going to be trying to sneak the uh, base off to the left. Major going to be taking the base to the right. With this much map control on Mirage, you don't really want to be taking a base all the way over here. Uh, you want to take it closest to your main base as possible so you can hover around the middle area and defend both quite easily. The problem, especially with taking this base against a Yap Yap, is if you're all the way over here fighting, especially if you're pushing this base and he scouted that with a fodder, a nice grunt from above on there will basically kill it undefended. Nice mines there going down on the Hunters and the Marauders there. Firebase has been constructed. I think he has the upgrade for the uh, Jerome already. Yes, he does. So he can get rid of that armory. He doesn't need it unless he's going to go reinforcement straight away. But there's no need to when you're not full population. So that's going to be a nice denial for Major here at the War Council on the mini base while Shaq's still rebuilding his army essentially. It's got the Marauders and the mobility. Major's going to be pushing towards the expo once he's cleared this out. Beam coming down again, but again, look, the splits. You really need the turret drops. Not only does the turret drop boost your leader powers, but it gives you the stuns for the mine combo. And that is what Shaq is missing in this game. He's going to scout this base, so it's about to get upgraded. They're going to trade Expos here, essentially. Leader Power comes in for Major. Shaq's still half the way there. 
Look, he upgraded the base and he didn't build pads on it. Just a complete waste of economy. It's going to be a tech free upgrade for Shaq. Major essentially has most of the map control, but again, as I said earlier, if he didn't take this base and he took this base, he'd literally be right there defending it. He'd be able to kill the army, defend this base, and take the expert all at the same time. But instead, he's losing an upgraded base over here with one part on and trading it for an unupgraded base. So that was a better trade for Shaq overall who is now getting his Grunt Goblins and Wraiths out. So these things are about to be level 3, and there's going to be double pumping Wraiths in a second. Has population advantage as well, despite being so far behind. Major about to get Tech 3 also. Could see a couple of Vultures, the Tech 3, Jerome, Laser Barrage immediately being researched. And there we go, Major finally going to be taking this base. Major probably just wants to hull ground on this base as well. Yeah, it looks like he's sending a marine there now. So he has all bases covered. He can just push up and get aggressive, and he knows to send a few units over there if Shaq tries to sneak one. It's going to be good denial of the foundry here, cutting off the Yap Yap's eco. So Major might level up the series here. Never count a Yap Yap out, but definitely might be able to level it up. Has the Goblins. They are upgraded as well. They're almost tech free. Push up to the middle. We do get a vulture. Two vultures actually in the middle. Need to use the wire bill. There's one reaver here. Smoke going down. Needs to push his army up. He needs to help. Ooh, wire bill going down on the rift there. Blowing up a marauder as well. Here we go. Here's the push. Only pushing half his army up though. Tends to do this a lot. Good dumps going down with the mines and the turret drop there. There's the shade turret drop. The salvo coming down to bust the dome wide open and we have a battle going down. <clears throat> Shaq still has heals on at least two of his goblins. Here comes the glassing beam to help him win the engagement. I mean, he's focusing the Jerome. It's going to do nothing to the Jerome. You should have killed the vultures. They're expensive as fuck. And the beam would have paid for itself. That was another wasted beam by Shaq. And he's just digging himself further and further into a hole. As this tech free leader going to be chasing him down. He even... No, he didn't kill the Mantis. Never mind. At this point, as Major, I'd throw the Mantis away. Just so I can combo that laser barrage on the next one. Once these vulture numbers start creeping up, this base is going to get cracked. He won't be able to sneak this base. He's just going to distract him. Major. Major's just going to go over there. Just taking out the mini bases. Basically choking his opponent out. He don't want to lose this game. He can't afford to lose this game. He's 2-1 down in a best of five series. He needs to tie it up at 2-2. Sending his whole army back to deal with this. Is Major listening to me? <laughs> Actually sending the mana somewhere. Alright, Rifts are gone now.
Um, concern of Flame Hog, you beat them with regular hogs as any UNSC player. Um, and vehicles just in general, hunters for banished are extremely good. It's just the mobility you got to worry about. But as banished, you should basically be able to fuck Johnson on tech one. Uh, meaning they won't really be able to get a lot of mana. So you keep them on one base, they won't be able to do much. Couple of Reavers in the middle now. Vulture goes down, the Y abilities are coming in. Kinda wanna focus the heroes. Bit of invulnerability there. I don't agree with using two Vulture missiles on one unit. Should split it up. And there we go, Shaq is finally gonna resign. It's gonna be two to two. Can you believe it? 2-2 going into game number 5 to find out who is the best French player. Game number 5, we're going to be going down on a vault. Your gun now major is going to be using Yap Yap and he's going to be coming up against a ship master here. So depending on how good Shaq's ship is, I think major might be taking this series. This, this series is for you, Max. They did it for you. That's why it's been so insanely close. <clears throat> so, nice rally point the Yap Yap player has there. Kind of a waste of a ghost, building a ghost and going to the resources here. Against the Yap Yap, you probably want to be just stealing this with your scout. Avoiding the mine. Since he's got a mine there, you immediately want to be going for their power. Not wasting your ghost here. Your grunt can get there quite easily. So we got a triple harvester opener from Major here. Gonna allow him to get a lot more mini bases. Triple harvester from Shaq as well. Major is all up in these power bundles. Units everywhere. Too bad the fodder do gather extremely slow. But that's that's literally his focus right now. He has enough units on all of the power. There might not be any left for Shaq. Alright, so Shaq is not slacking on these mini bases. He's managed to get the double and the single on the same side. I'll be coming through with the grunt. Major doing the same. Obviously, expected from Yab Yab. You would have expected him to get more, but looks like he did go for a double chain quite early on.
Got the expo coming up from Major on the right hand side. Again, similar with Mirage. You kind of want to try and get it in front if you can. So it kind of looks like we got Ghost coming out from Shaq. Probably don't want to commit to Shielded Ghost. Mm, yeah, I probably would have just gone into Tech 2 to be honest. Going to Rangers. Ghost Shield isn't really going to do a lot against Fodder. He's not committing to Tech 1 as hard as you would have expected. Second generator now coming up for Shaq. And Major is about to upgrade to Tech 2. Now, th this is just weird from him. He's got all of his production all the way on the right hand side over here. Definitely want that in the middle or on the double mini at least. It's, it's like he's trying to hide it away. We've got raid count, we got the uh, world council and the apex coming up. Fair generator now coming up for major, so f pretty much full economy from him as the yap yap. Shield gen immediately coming up as well. Don't know what he's scared about from shipmaster at the moment, there's only ghosts on the map. He's losing a lot of fodder and he's allowing Shaq to get map control with these ghosts. Shaq is a long way away from Tech 2 though. First things first, we have NG Hunter from LGP Major. Really wants to try and counter these ghosts. Double mine does come down on the ramp, so if he comes up the ramp, he might not be able to see it in time to avoid it. Got the hunters' engines here. That is a lot of ghosts, though. Only one, two hunters with the engines. He doesn't need to back off. He's beam again. It's like he's going for the beam again, trying to kill the engines. Does manage to kill both of those. No, nope, at least, yeah, both of those do manage to fall. Got Banshee's coming out as well. Goes Heroes out. We've got Foundry on the main base, and we have an expert built now for Shaq as well with the third raid camp coming, uh, the third generator coming on. Ghost coming back in for another fight. They're going with the Rams onto the Hunters here. Does have the heal. The hero is not upgraded though. Should have that drop soon with the uh, the Hunter and the Ranger for Shaq. Yeah, it's not too far away. Major's going to get his point first. The Major does get his point. Probably a grunt from above. He can push this expo. He's got a fair generator on. So that's going to be a good pick off for him. And he's only just got tech two. <clears throat> yeah, grunts from above will definitely kill this base if he chose that leader power. Can't afford it at the moment. Got no blue. Should cancel that shield gen. You're on the aggressive. You don't really need it yet. Use as much resources as you can. Here comes the spirit support coming in to help defend this. Honestly, if he saved the money and did the grunts from above earlier, this base would be dead. The army would be getting wiped. That methane wagon does so much. He doesn't even have shades drop to um, combo with these mines. The engine is now onto the main base, so this is going to be a good defense for Shaq since Major is starting to push away. 
Reinforcements are coming in now. So he actually went beam instead of the grunts from above. He's going to wipe that spirit support. Spirit support has gone. We only have ghosts and engines here now. One engine falls. And there we have it. LGP Major is the number one French player in Halo Wars 2. Shaq just couldn't handle the players in the end and Major manages to reverse sweep WS Shaq and win the series 3-2.